Hello students, today we are going to see another cloud service uh, that is nothing but platform as a service PASS. So last class we have seen IASS infrastructure as a service which is provided by the cloud. Now we are going to see platform as a service. So it is a category of cloud computing uh, service that provides platform allowing customers to develop run and manage applications without uh, seeing the complexity of building and maintaining the underlying infrastructure. Whatever infrastructure is there that is provided by the uh, cloud which is nothing but PaaS. So platform uh, the domain which on which the developers are going to develop and deploy the application is given by the uh, cloud. Uh, so developers need not worry about how infrastructure is there, what and the machines are provided, what main frame and what may and, uh, and uh, framework is required, those all are provided by the cloud. So that is what is nothing but pass platform as a service. So in platform model, the cloud provider typically manages the infrastructure that is nothing but servers, storage, networking and as well as middleware systems are also provided that is nothing but databases and messaging systems etc. So this makes the job of a developer easy. He need not worry about the infrastructure or what mainframes are provided, what IDs are required, he need not worry, just he can start developing and deploy his applications. So this allows, that is what, this allows the developers to concentrate more on writing code and deploying rather than worrying about underlying software and hardware. So what features they are providing, they and in pass, it, they provide development tools, they provide database management systems application hostings and deployment automation. All the things whichever are required to develop and deploy an application, all those features are provided in PaaS. So uh, this framework uh, facilitates the life cycle of application development from coding to testing to development and scaling. Even scaling is provided. If uh, scaling of resources is required, even that is done with the help of PaaS. So most popular PaaS providers include Google App Engine, Heroku Engine Yard, Microsoft Azure App Service, Salesforce App Cloud and Amazon Web Services Elastic Beanstack. These all are PaaS services which is provided by different cloud networks. So the overview uh, is seen this way. So PaaS provider it is nothing but the cloud who is uh, provider who is going to provide the services. They provide the virtual machines. They provide the frameworks and whatever databases and testing tools are required for the application development. This all forms the virtualization layer. Everything is provided and it is consumed by the developer who is going to use this PaaS services and develop the application. So this which gives the overview of how PaaS services is provided and how it is consumed. Overview, so say changes the way that software is developed and deployed. Previously, in traditional application development, application will be deployed, developed locally and will be uh, hosted in the central uh, location. And, uh, in, and uh, locally, and the machines were used to uh, develop the application and once the application is ready, they used to deploy it on the central system or central location. And wherever it was, uh, whenever it used to be a standalone application, uh, means what the application which is developed for a single system, then the developers used to develop and provide the executable files to the uh, people who asked for the development. But PaaS has changed the thinking of our, uh, the way the uh, applications are to be developed. So it, it moved from traditional uh, on, 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 on physical development on the system to online development. So means what that is something rather than developing on local machine, now the applications can be developed online on the cloud that services are provided by the PaaS. So we will see that what services it is providing. Uh, it helps, it allows the developers to develop their application online and also allows them to develop, deploy immediately. So and developers can consume different lang and language runtimes are required, application frameworks are required, databases and testing tools and deployment tools are required those all services are provided. So this reduces the complexity of building different uh, and maintaining different tools for developing an applications. I hope if you people have started developing application, you will come to know different frameworks are required, 
different languages are required, different softwares are required. So here if PaaS is providing the service, a developer need not worry about frameworks, he need not worry about different tools or databases which are required, everything is developed and everything is maintained by the PaaS provider. So the services provided by the PaaS, if you see this diagram you can understand, they help us with different programming languages, means what you can develop your application using different programming languages, you can have different application frameworks and then databases in which you are going to maintain your database that is provided and as well as uh, different tools whatever are required, all the tools will be provided. So this makes the job of developer easy. So he can develop anything easily without worrying about the hardware and the resources. Uh, like earlier in traditional developing system, they need to see what software is required, what version is required, what databases are required for front end, what application is to be used, all those details now a software developer did not worry that is provided by the PaaS. We will see this service one by one. So first the programming languages. So PaaS provides different variety of programming languages for the developers to develop application. The languages which are supported are generally like Java, Perl, PHP, Python, Ruby, Scala, Clojure and Go. So those, these many languages and many more languages are still added so that any type of application can be developed using PaaS, pro, uh, PaaS services. Next application frameworks, so uh, PaaS vendors provide application frameworks that simplify the application development. The frameworks which are provided like Node.js, Rails, Drupal, Joomla and the many more ana, ana frameworks are there. Using these frameworks different types of applications can be developed. So these two service, ana, uh, services are provided. Next databases different type of databases also it supports so that data can be stored and any communication with the application can be done with the help of database. So the different type of databases the past vendors gives are ClearDB, PostGRE SQL, CloudAnd, Membase, MongoDB and Redis. So this type of database tools are provided and apart from other tools whichever are required to develop an application. So those are also provided based on the requirement and based on the demand PaaS will provide all these services. So these are the features which make PaaS very helpful to develop an application. So characteristics, uh, the first and foremost important characteristic is all in one. Means what anything whichever you require for developing an application, either you want IDE or you want any compiler or interpreter or you want any language or you want any database, all are provided singly uh, here. So that's why it is called as all in one. So most of the PaaS providers offer services to des develop, test, deploy, host and maintain applications in the same IDE or different languages can be used as said, whatever services are required, frameworks can be used, databases and other development uh, related services whatever are required, it is provided with the pass, developer need not worry about resources and need not worry about applica uh, applications or frameworks or versions, he just sits and he can start developing the applications. So all things are provided that is why it is called as all in one characteristic. Next web access to the development platform. Earlier platforms and uh, applications were developed independently at the local machines but if you want uh, if you if you want to develop applications uh, on the uh, uh, on the uh, a group of team is going to develop. So and uh, different developers are sitting at different places and they want to develop together a uh, single uh, application then web access is provided. Uh, so in this development, so a typical development platform uses any IDs for developing application. Typically ID will be installed in the developer's machine but PaaS provides web access to the development platform. So means what you can sit anywhere in the world and you can start developing your application using the PaaS service provided. So that is one thing but web UI, it is called as web UI, web is you, you interface, user interface, any developer can get access to the development platform. So web based UI helps the developer create modify, test and deploy the different applications. So means what developers can sit at different places and they can start working with the help of web UBI and they can develop, test and modify the applications whatever they are developing easily. So that is what web access to the deployment development platform is provided by the PaaS. Next characteristic is offline access. Sometimes uh, there is a problem on the internet and you cannot work. So they have provided uh, the, the, and this IDs, such IDs wherein which synchronize their local ID. So means what if internet is not available, developer can develop, once internet uh, is up, 
the developers can develop an application locally and deploy it online whenever they are connected to the internet. So, once internet is up, whatever is developed, that ID will get connected and synchronized and application can be built. So, offline access is also provided, this is one more characteristic. Next, built-in scalability. So, as per the requirements, see generally we uh, programmers or developers will tell uh, scalability, but a dynamic scalability is provided based on the requirement dynamic scalability is done. It is very difficult to enable the dynamic scalability for any application developed using traditional platforms. In traditional platform, so once you, uh, it is by, uh, by default or dynamically scaling up will not be done. So, we need to stop the application, we need to provide the servers whatever are required, we need to increase the memory and all, but here in this case dynamically it is done. So, provides built in scalability to an application that is developed using any particular pass. So, any scalability is required, it is built in, the application understands and scalability will be done. So, that is one, one more characteristic. Next collaborative platform, the development team consists of different types of uh, consists of developers who are working from different platforms. So, uh, and all will not be working on single platform, different uh, pro developers will be working on different platforms. So, uh, common platform is required for all the developers to collaboratively work together. So, PaaS provides the support for collaborative developments. So, even different platforms developers can work together and collaboratively they can develop an application. So, and provides uh, and uh, the PaaS provides pro, uh, tools for project planning and communication. So, that way this is one more characteristics collaborative platform is provided. Next, diverse client tools. So, different types of tools are used for developing uh, different uh, uh, applications. So, this client tools include uh, CLI, Web CLI, Web UI, REST API and different types of IDEs provided. This developer tools can choose, the, the developers can choose any tools of their choice and client tools are also capable of handling billing and subscription management. So, this is one more characteristic uh, of PASS. Thank you.